To initiate saline flow, turn the saline bottle and applicator cup in a counterclockwise motion until the on indicator on the applicator is aligned with the on-off arrow on the applicator. Allow the saline to flow through the applicator. This will be noted by saline dripping off the applicator face. This should be completed just prior to starting the ultrasound energy to prevent saline buildup within the applicator. The treatment head should be held so that it is perpendicular to the wound with the leading edge of the applicator approximately 0.5 to 1.5 centimeters from the wound. A simple rule of thumb is to be as close to the wound as possible without touching the applicator tip. This is important to ensure the ultrasound energy reaches the cells within and below the wound bed. In addition, the close proximity allows the saline mist to gently bathe the wound bed. The solid green light on the transducer indicates the system is ready for use. Depress and release the control button at the top of the treatment head. The flashing green indicator means ultrasound is being delivered to the wound. Do not hold the button down during the treatment. To deliver mist therapy, Move the treatment head horizontally across the wound using multiple passes, then vertically. The treatment head should be moved in front of the wound using slow, even strokes, 0.5 to 1.5 centimeters from the wound. Intermittent, audible, and visual bubbling may occur. This is a normal response to the ultrasound waves coming in contact with the fluid in the wound bed and is a sign you are delivering the energy from the correct distance. Yet lack of this bubbling is not an indicator you are incorrectly delivering the ultrasound energy as long as the proper distance is maintained. You may pause the treatment at any time by pushing the control button again and rotating the saline bottle to the off position. Continue treatment until you hear three long tones and the generator screen returns to the select treatment time mode. Once the treatment is completed, the ultrasound will automatically shut off. When treating wounds with areas of greater than 30 centimeters squared or multiple wounds on the same patient, it will be necessary to refill the saline bottle approximately every five minutes. The unit will not alert you when saline has been depleted, so you must monitor to ensure levels are maintained to provide adequate flow. To refill, remove the cap from the initial saline bottle that is already seated in the applicator assembly. If you know in advance that you will be refilling for longer treatment times, it is recommended that the cap be removed before starting the initial treatment. Refill the saline bottle and continue the treatment. When the treatment is complete, rotate the saline bottle in a clockwise direction to stop the flow of saline. Remove the applicator from the treatment head and discard the applicator and saline bottle, which may still contain saline, Dependent on the amount required during the procedure, place the transducer into the transducer cradle, clean the mist therapy system after each treatment session with the power button in the off position. Do not sterilize the treatment head with steam, ETO, or cold sterilants. Caution! Celeration's mist therapy saline bottle and applicator are designated by the FDA as single-use products and must not be reused. Thank you for completing the Mist Therapy System in-service video. We hope you found this information helpful. To complete the Mist Therapy System certification process or to gain more information, contact Celeration at 1-866-307-MIST or at Celeration.com.